all right in this video you will learn some important bond terminology the first bond terminology is current yield current yield is the annual interest payment on a bond divided by the bond's current price to explain this further let's take an example if tasty food products company bonds with a 10% coupon was currently selling for 985 the bonds current yield would be to get the current yield you will have to divide the coupon interest on the bond which is 10% with the selling current selling price of the bond now here it is assumed that the par value of the bond is $1000 so if the if the par value of the bond is $1000 uh, generally the par value of bonds are assumed to be $1000 hence we also assume that the par value of this bond is $1000 so if you calculate 10% of 1000 which is 1000 into 0.10 you get $100 $100 which is the coupon interest divide with the current selling price of the bond which is 985 and you will get the current yield so ladies um just to sum up again you will calculate the current yield on a bond by dividing the coupon interest on the bond with the current selling price of the bond the next important terminology is yield to maturity yield to maturity is a rate of return which is earned on a bond if the bond is held to maturity this means that if an investor buys a bond which is uh, which has a maturity period of 10 years then if he holds it for the whole 10 years and does not sell it to anybody else the rate of return which he will earn on this bond which he holds until the maturity period will be known as the yield to maturity generally uh, the rate of return earned on a bond includes the principal amount of the bond which the investor gets back at the end of the maturity period plus all the interests that he earns during the maturity period which is either annual interest or which can be half yearly or quarterly interest so that is yield to maturity now the third most important factor in a bond is to understand the relationship between the bond prices and the current market interest rates bond prices also means the current market price of the bond and it's different from the par value of the bond par value of the bond it remains fixed it never changes but the bond price which is the market value of the bond uh, keeps uh, changing depending upon the interest rate in the economy so hence you need to understand what is the relationship between the market price of the bond which is called the bond price and the current market interest rate so the first thing that you need to understand is the bond prices and the current interest rates always moves in the opposite direction which means if there is an increase in the bond price there is a decrease in the current interest rate and vice versa let's understand this with the help of an example let's assume on january 1 2012 abc company issued a 1000 dollar bond this means that the face value of the bond is 1000 dollar with a coupon rate of 10% and a maturity period of 15 years the bonds were sold at the face value which is 1000 the meaning of bonds were sold is that the bonds market price was also 
and that's why it could it, it was sold at one thousand dollar so the bonds were sold at the face value itself if you see that this bond has a face value of thousand dollar and it was also sold at thousand dollar which means the bond price or the market value was also thousand dollar so this means that the current market interest rate which is 10 percent from the example um, uh, this would mean that the current market interest rates are 10 percent which is uh, the same as the coupon rate of 10 percent and uh, this also means that the investor is happy to buy this bond at a price of thousand dollar which is also the face value of the bond now why is the investor happy to buy this bond uh, for thousand dollar where the which is equal to the face value this is because the investor will get the market interest rate of 10 percent which is equal to the coupon rate of 10 percent so when the market interest rate of a bond is equal to the coupon rate of a bond the bond will sell at a price which is equal to the face value of the bond so what do you understand from this so you what um, you understand from this is that a bond whose market interest rate is equal to the coupon rate that bond's face value will always be equal to the market price of the bond now let's say for let's say after six months the market interest rates have gone up to being 12 percent from 10 percent on july 1 2012 xyz company which is another company is planning to issue a bond with a face value of thousand dollar which is the same as the bond issued by abc company in january 2012. Um, so xyz company is planning to issue a bond in july for thousand dollar face value and with a coupon rate of 12 percent and the maturity period of this bond is 14 years the question is if you were an investor which bond would you buy on july 1 would you buy the abc company bond or the xyz company bond to understand this let's again go to the features of the two bonds the bond issued by abc company carries a coupon rate of 10% and the face value of the bond is $1,000 which means that if you buy this bond of ABC company you will have to pay $1,000 that means you will have to lend to the company $1,000 and you will get a coupon interest rate of 10% but if you choose to buy the bonds which is issued by XYZ company you will, you will also have to pay $1,000 for this bond but in return, you will get a coupon interest of 12%. The answer is very simple. You would choose XYZ company's bonds. And this is because you will earn a higher rate of return with the same face value. Compared to an ABC uh, company bond, which will give you a coupon interest rate of 10%. Further, if someone offers you ABC company's bonds, would you pay $1,000 for it? The answer is no. Um, you would pay less than $1,000 for ABC company's bond because the return is only 10%. And uh, the whereas the market interest rate is 12% presently in July, which, uh, which means that when you see that the market interest rate offered a market interest rate is high but the coupon interest rate offered by a bond is lower than the market interest rate you will agree to buy such a bond only if the value of the bond or the price of the bond is less than the sorry is less than the face value of the bond this brings us to the conclusion that um, this story this brings us to the first relationship between uh, the bond price and the market interest rate that decrease in the market interest rates will cause the value of a bond to increase and vice versa which means if there is an increase in the market interest rate then the value or the price of the bond will decrease 
second important relationship is that the one which I just explained to you that increase in market interest rate will cause the value of a bond to decrease. So this is opposite of what happens in the when there is a decrease in market interest rate. Now if you see in the first two cases, whenever there is an in, uh, increase or decrease in the market interest rate, the value of the bond also is either increasing or decreasing. Hence, the change in the value of a bond, which is taking place due to the change in the market interest rate, is called the interest rate risk. Change in value of a bond caused by change in the interest rate is called the interest rate risk. Now, let's look at these relationships in terms of um, these equations. If interest rate is greater than the coupon rate of a bond, then the bond price will be less than the face value. This is exactly what you studied in the last slide, which is that uh, if the current interest rate is greater than the coupon rate. If you see here, the current interest rate of 12% is greater than the coupon rate of 10%. So when the current interest rate is greater than the uh, coupon rate, then you will buy a bond which has a coupon rate of 10% for a price which is less than the face value of the bond. This is what is explained here. If the current interest rate is greater than coupon rate, which means 12% is greater than 10%, the bond price will be less than face value. So if the face value is 1000, then the bond price will be less than 1000. This means that such a bond will sell at a discount. So wherever the interest rate is greater than the coupon rate, the bond sells at a discount. Second, if the current interest rate is less than the coupon rate, then such a bond uh, price will be greater than the face value, which means if the face value is 100, the bond price will be uh, greater than, uh, sorry, if the face value is $1,000, the bond price will be greater than $1,000. So it is said that um, a bond whose interest rate is less than coupon rate, such a bond will sell at a premium, which means at a higher price than the face value. What happens if the current interest rate is equal to coupon rate, which means the coupon rate is 10%, um, say, for example, if the coupon rate is 10% and the current interest rate is also 10%, in this case, the bond price will also be equal to face value. That is, if the face value of the bond is $1,000, the bond price also will be $1,000. These three are very important um, facts relating to a bond. Another important thing uh, relating to the bond is that a bond holder who is owning a long-term bond is exposed to greater interest rate risk than when owning a short-term bond. I can explain this in the form of an example. Um, for example, say if you own a bond which has a maturity period of 15 years, so that's a long-term bond, and you own uh, you own another bond where the maturity period is only five years, so that's a short term bond. Now, you have already learned that whenever there is a change in the market interest rate, the prices of the bond has to change. Now, if you are owning a short term bond, the change in the price of your bond or the value of your bond, which happens due to a change in the interest rate, will be less if you are owning a short term bond which is of 5 years than when you own a bond which is of 15 years. In case of a 15 year bond, the change, <coughs> excuse me, the change in the price of the bond will be very big uh, due to the change in the interest rate. So with the same change in the interest rate, the change in the um, price of a 15 year bond will be much higher than the 